and pilot. I've never seen you fly once in my my life, Mr. Rogan. <laughs> Honestly, so now, did you get a chance to go to those SFPs I told you to? Uh, ma'am, I've been trying to read a little bit of it at a time. Uh, mm -hmm. I read through the uh, the various court cases, ma'am. That's good. Uh, actually, I had a question about it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so there's, um, um, there's like the 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 Terry versus something, mm -hmm. and then there's another one like Mena or Mila or something like that. That's related. I probably don't make any sense. Mila? Um, that's related to Terry versus Ohio? There's Terry versus Ohio, and then there's mm -hmm. another one that references Terry versus Ohio, ma'am. Oh, Pennsylvania versus Mims. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. um, Do you remember what... I don't really understand the second one as much. Mm -hmm. So my understanding is that you uh, you need reasonable uh, suspicion to uh, to detain somebody. And you can frisk them, and mm -hmm. that frisking might lead to probable cause. And then that second one, the Mina or whatever, um, mm -hmm. that's in regards to a vehicle. Is that correct, ma'am? Yeah, Pennsylvania versus Mims basically just says that you can tell someone to step out of the vehicle whenever you want, and they have to obey it as it is a lawful order. That one is that with any kind of wild. traffic stop, or do you need yeah. reasonable suspicion? Because no, that's can... that's a bit that I didn't understand. Like, would you need them to like mm -hmm. turn on their ignition? Because do we really have reasonable suspicion that they're even doing anything other than like you know they ran a traffic light or something? Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, once you have someone pulled over, you have them detained because you witnessed them commit a crime, right? Like, you need reasonable suspicion to pull them over in the first place. So that's why uh, Pennsylvania versus Mims gives you the ability to have anyone step out of your vehicle at, at essentially any time. Any um, crime, even a misdemeanor. Um, what do you mean? Like, well, I, I don't know. Like, let's say they just threw a cigarette out of the window. Yeah. Can we now pull them out, frisk them, and then potentially search them if they had a weapon on them? Yeah. I mean, we don't do that because, you know, that people get really mad if we did that. But, yeah, I mean, but that's fun. Technically, legally, you can. Well, if you want to do that, yeah. Because yeah. you can pull someone out of a car and then you can frisk them if you have reason to believe that they have a weapon on them, you know? Oh, Okay. Yeah. So, so does that hopefully answer your question? Does it make more sense? Uh, yes, ma'am. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, we're gonna do really quick. This guy's flight certification. It shouldn't take too long. Um, if you die or if I die, then he's gonna fail. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay. All right, Mister Rogan, come here. All right. I probably would do it depending okay. on the situation. It'll be fun. Another Jordan. I would oh, okay. not disagree. In yes. fact, oh, yeah. I think right, I want you to some right of here. my character okay. tendencies may be Jordan-esque, from Stand what I understand back. about Jordan. All right, we're going to be going through uh, a few different things today just to get your flight certification. And what I mean by that um, is we're gonna start off occasionally by doing it, just to now, see how people I react. This oath, you're gonna say this is your just chopper, to see how people but react. This is actually not your chopper. You will never fly LSPD equipment. If you do fly LSPD equipment, I will shoot you on sight and blow your brains out. Understood? Yes, understood. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Repeat after me. This is my chopper, except it's really not. This is my chopper. Except it's really not. Except okay. it's really not. Awesome. There are many like it. There are many like it. But this one is mine. But this one is mine. Wait, if what the fuck? If I crash and burn. If I crash and burn. With my friends and or colleagues inside. <laughs> with my friends and or colleagues inside. I, I will more than likely be dead. I will more than likely be dead. And not have the ability to fly. And not have the ability to fly. So help me coil. So help me coil. Awesome. Perfect. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about the inside of a helicopter. So let's go hop on in. Come on, Finn Finn. Come on, Knight. Uh, yes, ma'am. Knight, I'd pay attention if you uh, if you ever want to get flight certified in the future. This is a good thing to pay attention to. All right. So as a civilian, <laughs> um, you are able to take helicopters from a few different areas. You can rent them. At the marina. Oh, could one of the mods the add a command? Um, you cannot with, shoot the uh, helicopter what part pilots is wrote? to take one of these things. I don't know why I need to explain that, but if you need to take a helicopter, don't shoot them. Just 
Yeah, we need a good Brian command. Point a gun at them and politely ask them to step out, and then you can use that helicopter, okay? Okay. Now, when you are picking a helicopter, you need to communicate it we don't to have one yet. the LSPD. So you would communicate over 311 or 911 that you are acquiring a helicopter and you're potentially going to be flying soon. And you'll need to communicate your flight plan, your call sign, and you need to be on radio channel 911. All right. So understood. if you're not on radio channel 911, <coughs> then you will be shot down on site if we can't communicate you over that radio, okay? Okay. Cool. So we're going to start off. I'm just going to teach you a little bit about the, the controls of a helicopter and how to fly this thing. We're going to fly it around a little timed course around the, the, heli the, heli the airport, oh, okay? Oh, shit. Okay. So there's a specific course that you need to run. You have two minutes and 40 seconds to do it, and accuracy is very important, as well as your Yeah, speed. what up, Face? Hey, Face, um, could you're you... You're going to get two practice runs to copy do it, pasta and on the third one, that'll be your exam. Fartis's if you fail Brian it, command? you'll get one more chance, um, but and you have to wait a day before you can take it. And okay. if you fail the second one, then you'll be permanently banned from ever flying because you suck. Okay. Okay. BBG. All right. So we're going to show you the, the practice one first, and then I'm going to show you a little bit about where you go to communicate, um, what the rules are while you're flying, how to refuel, and where to land. Wait, actually, that okay. might not okay. be... So first off, I'm going to show you the course. Just pay attention to where I'm flying. Um, and uh, let's go. All right. Any active? Negative or not this time. Remember, accuracy is very important. Dang! Wow. That's impressive. Shut up, Brian. No one likes, no one yeah. likes to kiss ass. Oh, I thought he was flying, ma'am. Yeah. I'm flying. <laughs> He's in the passenger seat. Uh, I was going to say, that's pretty good for a first time. Beta. What? Beta. He you a beta, Brian. Hey, hey, that's messed up, man. Beta. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to notice that I'm staying within the white lines, okay, Kyle? <laughs> yes, I understand. <laughs> uh, what was your name again, sir? My name is Kyle Rogan. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think we've met a few times in passing. Yeah, I think so, too. He needs a soundboard. I'll fucking okay. kill you. Right. Oh, yeah. And then this is the final spot. Once you touch down, your time Probably is finished. Unit 76 to the latest 911. All right. What the fuck? That is the course. Any questions? Um, no. Pretty self-explanatory. Great. Yo, Ackman, awesome. thank you for the six so, months, you bet. You know how to fly I quit gaming with the two months. Yes. Yes. Sixteen right. months. A L. So you understand about the, the, the two pedals months. and what the collective and all that. Yeah, yeah, the cyclic and all that. Okay, good, good, good. Let me right, get some well, many H's in chat. In, and I'm gonna put you these. in the pilot seat, and we're gonna do a practice. Awesome one, okay? people. Okay. Support the channel. All right, let's go. Y'all, Nesby, sixteen months. If you suck at this, um, I'm going to ban you from flying personally. Okay. So don't suck. I won't suck. Great. Right. I'll try not to, at least. If you kill us all, that's an automatic fail. Uh, so don't uh, crash. Ma'am, when you have a moment, uh, do you yeah. think you could send me the 10 codes? Yeah, I'll send them to you right now. Oh, thank you, ma'am. All right, let me know when you're ready for time. Uh, I'm ready to start. Oh, another jeweler. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, three, two, one. one, go. I don't know how to do jewelry. I don't know how to look at the jewelry camera. I'm not going to interrupt her while he's flying. You've got a black corridor. Facing northbound away from the stairs, there appears to be a hostage female inside. The hostage takers are leaving her there. They're running to the black door. Uh, black car. They're taking off northbound. He's doing pretty the good. They left the hostage inside. Wow. Okay, Ned, I sent this to you. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, four, I believe 320 has eyes on that vehicle continuing northbound Portola Drive. 
202. I'm going to redirect to the jeweler store to clear those hostages. Uh, Ryan Hart, if you want to assist. Uh, the 420 is going to be inactivated with a black and color uh, four-door vehicle. Uh, unknown occupants westbound north of drive traffic flight. Weather clear. Speeds around 90. Right, How do we have $2,000 already? What the fuck? 341, same traffic. Left. Wow. I crashed south on North Rockford Drive. Well, you're pretty good, sir. Continuing south yeah, on North Rockford Drive. Yeah, I'm going to Passing the very colorful parking lot. <laughs> Left, he's found this. I'm impressed. Disregard, continuing south on South Rockford Drive. I've seen a lot of people fly helicopter, and he's better than most. 320-1050 Ocean King, they continue down at a vehicle. Is he going to strafe? <laughs> oh, the strafe wasn't really that great, but... You know, I'm not good at flying. I, I, I rarely fly a helicopter. Pretty much every time I fly up, one, I'm. But that's honestly probably the best, the best run I've ever seen a civilian do of this. Yeah, you did. Yeah. All right, and time 157. Right, so the start you would have failed on because you flew over the building, but other than that, everything else was yeah, fucking perfect. Okay. So do that again. Do you want to do the final exam or do you want to do a practice? Um, so the fr the first one, don't fly over the building, fly next yeah, to the building? Yeah, the, the, they have, well, I mean, like, you can fly over it. I just don't mean, like, you cut the corner and you ended up flying over the building. Is what I mean? Uh, on the first, like, on the first turn? Follow the road. Yeah, I don't, okay. don't go okay. over the road. <coughs> so you can do another practice one or we can do the final one if you want. Yeah, I think he's using a controller. Man, today's got... I'm so glad I'm streaming today. There are so many good cops on right now. Character. Like, a lot of good characters. All right, is this back to Sun? These are like the cops from Z Sunday? Question All right, mark? Fenton. One bark for practice, two barks for final. All right, final run. All right, here we go. All right, hold on. Hold on. Um, I'm going to give you a countdown, and we're going to start it, okay? All right. All right. You ready? Ready. All right, in three, two, oh, really? one. Begin. Nice, Hoog. What's the status on those medics? If he fails this, he's going to try once more tomorrow. Makes sense. So far, so good. I'm telling you, man, he's one of the best I've ever seen fly one of these. Three fifty, show me your rock. Good luck, medical one ten thirteen. Three forty one back tonight. For someone taking an exam, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's a civilian uh, getting a flying license. Not a lot of people have these licenses. I couldn't say who's the best. I don't know a lot of what happens on the server outside of what I personally see because I stream and play so much and that and I try to avoid meta. So, like, I've seen Sun Moon fly. I've seen um, Alan fly. I've seen some of the EMS fly. I've seen a good number of people fly, but this is pretty on point.
and time. All right, how do you think you did? I think I did all right, at least. You think so? You feel like you passed? I feel like I did. I hope I did. How fast do you think that was? Uh, something like two yeah. or something. You did in two minutes and 15 seconds. That was a pass. Congrats, buddy. Woo! All right, awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so the last yeah. thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about where to land the helicopter, refueling, and stuff like that. So I'll be wow. fine this part, okay? okay? Hell yeah, dude. I got to say, out of all the people I've ever certified, that's probably the best I've ever seen. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't let it get to your head. Come on in, mate. I won't. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll leave you here. Okay. So for refueling this helicopter, it eats up fuel pretty fast depending on how much you travel. You can refuel it at basically any gas station. The way you do it is they have special gas pumps installed for helicopter fuel on top of the station. Okay. So any gas station will work, but we specifically look for the ones that have flat tops with flat roofs. So for example, this one over here, um, you could land on top of it and you could refuel because you notice it's got like a relatively flat roof. So this okay. is one of the places where you could do it, right? I mean, it's still got a bit of a curve to it, so you got to be careful when you touch down. But it's it's flat enough, right? But I would typically try and angle it like this because uh, you don't want to accidentally flip your helicopter and then like touch it down like like that. Okay. So then you can okay. hop out and then you could refuel the helicopter and you'd be good to go on your way. Um, I recommend you avoid the ones up in Palomino Freeway. That one's pretty dangerous. And also the one on Greater Stone Highway is pretty dangerous as well. Okay, I'll avoid right. those. Right. So while you're flying, stunts are prohibited. Stunts would be like flying underneath I the just realized... at a really low altitude, um, doing tricks, stuff like that. None of that is allowed um, for civilians because you just don't have the official certification for that. So you need to keep your altitude relatively high. I would not go below uh, this altitude if you're within the city at the very minimum, okay? Okay. And when you're going through the skyscrapers, I would just try and avoid going through here. But if you need to, um, just try and stay relatively high up, okay? Okay. And then um, when I'm on, say, uh, say, uh, say Air One is out, because I do news mm -hmm. and I'm having planning to have like photographers in the back. Mm -hmm. um, well, you, you oh. obviously be on the radio, right? Where like uh, I have to like stay back at a certain distance. If you're doing news reporting, just stay out of the way of the helicopter. Um, typically, in a pursuit, air there's will so be, many new uh, news reporters falling and directly I love above it. or just behind it. So we'll be like on the road uh, around it. So I would, if I was following a pursuit heading southbound on this road, I'd be like flying like this, and then if it took a left, I would do that, right? So if right. I were you as a helicopter. I would try and stay away from it. So if we were following that same pursuit, maybe fly over here and a little bit higher than Air One. You know, just just maintain a higher distance and further separation from it so you don't get confused. You know what I mean? Yeah, just making sure. Like, mm -hmm. Just try and avoid colliding with it. Just be very conscious of what you're doing. Okay, um, there's restricted areas that you cannot land. Um, one of those will be any hospitals. So these helipads below us, only emergency services can land there. The Mission Row helipad and the pillbox medical helipad are all restricted, so you can't land there at all. Um, if you do, your flight cert will be revoked. No question. Okay. Dude, put if it in the meeting notes, dog. You can touch down I'm not gonna there, remember but, shit. Uh, that's basically the only time is when it's an emergency. And an emergency means like your helicopter is going down and you don't have any other choice. Okay, okay. <laughs> I ain't um, remembering nothing. Let's see, last thing. Um, if you use this aircraft for crime, um, if someone like hires you to do crime, you'll be shot down. No questions asked. It doesn't matter what crime it is, you'll be shot down. Okay? Understood. All right. What's the cover the radio frequency that you need to be on um, so we can contact you? 911. Okay. If uh, we try to contact you on 911 and we don't receive a response, what's going to happen? I'm going to be shot down. And what else is going to happen? I'm going to get my revo er, uh, license revoked. Awesome. When you want to go on a flight, what do you need to do? Uh, contact 311 or 911. Uh, get the when you get the aircraft at the appropriate airport and follow your flight plan. Mm -hmm. You need to also have a call sign and communicate what radio channel you'll be on. Oh yes. Cool. Can you land at Mission Neuro? No. What if your tail rotor is blown up and that's your only option? Uh, then yes, you would have to contact for emergency and then land well it's an emergency you don't have time to contact because you're going down oh yes but yes you, you can if it's an emergency 
All right, cool. Well, I don't have anything else. So congratulations on getting your flight certification. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Why doesn't NoPixel have a garage where you can buy a helicopter? Just be safe with uh, it. Because it's a role play it. server. I will. That's it. Oh, my God. I thought you got chopped up. And then do you know that, do I need to but then again, one of the it depends. at this point? There's certain lines oh God, of role play. And oh my God! Helicopter. Who, who said that? Why would they say that? Is behind a role play why, why license. Why would they do that? That's terrible. Sorry, what'd you ask? Do I need to contact now uh, one of the judges about the? Is there another part, or is that it? No, I'll contact them. Okay. Let them know. But you're good. You got a flight stick. Congrats. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I need to contact uh, Ripley. Come on, Brian. Let's go. Brian, do you have armory? Uh, yes, ma'am. I have uh, three on me, ma'am. Rogan, come on. Let's go. You have three on you? Okay, that's good. I used oh. a lot of mine in that last sheet out. I need to go buy some more. Uh, yes, ma'am. Wait, what happened to my burgers? Well, what did happen to your burgers? I don't know. I don't know. Wait. Where are they? I don't know. They just disappeared. Wait, did you? Wait, you have burgers on you? No. I, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, ma'am. I, I, I didn't, ma'am. <laughs> I know he did. Yeah. What do you mean? probably on my churro. Ah, uh, no, I didn't have any on me, ma'am. Hmm. hmm. Stupid dog. Two oh two ten seventy six ten thirty one Bravo. I I don't have any on me, ma'am. I promise. Mm, okay, all right, come on. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Four fifty seven from three fifty. Oh God. Send it. Currently out with a cadet. Yeah, I have night with me. Hold on. Hey, Benson, do you want to ride with Ripley? Rock, rock, rock. No. Okay, alright, alright, sounds good. <laughs> Say my name. Yeah. Uh, one second. Do we have any available FTOs that be willing to take a uh, ride along with us? <coughs> I hope Sierra gets. Uh, we already have two cadets. Ah. Uh, uh, temporary. All right. Um. Okay. Sorry, hey Vincent. Um, we have two cadets on duty, so I guess I can't put you out. I mean, I thought we had. Room Understood, for you. ma'am. I thought we had room for you, but I guess my, my boss says no. So, uh, otherwise, I'd put you up with someone. I apologize. Ma'am. It's not your fault. Understood. I I would like okay, to see hey. more cadets. Well, um, Even if it means all of us yeah, okay. can only use let's pistols. Let's go night, night, let's go. Oh my god, it's Columbo. Right. Yeah, you're first easy. It might Run. be too much, though. I mean, then again, I say that without knowing the process. Because there is work that the other cops got to do <laughs> in order to <laughs> make... So, night. Uh, yes, ma'am. Are you ready for some questions and answers? I know he is. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm ready. Okay. All right. What is this? What describe reasonable suspicion to me? What explain it to me? What's reasonable suspicion? Uh, reasonable suspicion is uh, when you believe a crime uh, has or will be committed with uh, some form of uh, logical explanation or mm-hmm. evidence. Based on what exactly? Uh. Um, observation. Okay. Um, just to add on to that definition, it's also based on facts or circumstances informed by police training or experience. Oh, yes. Of course, ma'am. This makes sure you don't forget about that because that's really important, you know? All right. Can you describe probable cause to me? Um. Uh, yes, ma'am. Wait, where'd you go? Okay. I'm in the evidence locker. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, probable cause is uh, when you have actual harder evidence leading to there being a, a, a crime be having been committed. Okay. So... Oh, God. It, it's supported by what? Uh, facts. Ma'am. And? Um, and logic? Training? And, and circumstances, Oh, right? circumstances. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Probable cause is basically just like an upgraded version of reasonable suspicion. (laughs) 
All right. Uh, cool. So moving on. Um, Learning the definitions is probably really what good. What is Carol versus the United States? What does this case law enable you to do? Sorry, what what was it uh, again? Carol versus the United States. What does this case law enable you to do? Oh, um, Carol versus. Oh, I read that last night. Oh shit. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, okay. I'll give uh, you. Me... I'll give you a single ver cheeseburger if you can answer this one correctly. Um, Carol versus United States. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, you can. Uh, it's the one that like. Uh, you know. Okay, so you can search vehicles because they're moving. It was uh, uh, from uh, the uh, the prohibition period, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can search vehicles for her because you're moving. That's that's part of it, right? But as long as you have a probable cause, ma'am. Good, good, good. That's that's 100 percent correct. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a hamburger. Well, that's 18 hamburgers. Where did I get all these from? Wow, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. That's crazy. But here you go. Here's a hamburger. Thank you, ma'am. Eat up. Enjoy it while. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Copper's back with the, the troopers. It's great. She deserves it, 100. percent All right, Miranda versus Arizona. Do you know how to read the Miranda rights to someone? Um, kind of. <laughs> I mean, do you want to try and read them to me? Um, at this time you're being placed under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can or will say can be used against you in a court of law. Uh, yeah. You have the right to an attorney. Um. Oh God! <laughs> do you have you actually like? Do you, is that just what you're just like making I up? I just wing it, ma'am. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Let me. Uh, oh wait, do I have a car here already? <laughs> do we already have a car? Hold on. Yeah. Back to no, we don't. Shut up, Benson. You're lying. Okay. All right. Hop it. This is direct reporting one more service twenty three thirty five. Right. So, uh, it's you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do you can and will be against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney and have them present with you during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, the state will provide one for you. And notice the cost to yourself. Do you understand this right as I've decided to you? That is what you got to read to people, okay? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. All right. Do you want to try reading them to me again? Um, you have the right to remain si silent. Anything you say can and will be used. Um, in a court of law, you have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an, afford an attorney, uh, one will be provided to you if available. It's close. It's getting there. Oh, God. No, nah, hey, it's okay if you fuck it up. You're getting it. Though. You got, you're definitely getting it. Okay. All right. Uh, do you know how to check star cameras? You, know, you ever done that before? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, right. I want to start getting you some experience on cons. Have right, you done anything go. with any FPS on that right you recently? Um, I have, but it hasn't been, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of been, uh, thrown in the fire, which is a little mm -hmm. bit difficult because, um, you know, there's like, for example, for 1080s, there's like a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that you have to do in a particular order. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, let's start with something very simple. Do you uh, remember the nine, hey you, it's me approach, right? Blue and white colored. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, you say, like, you know, um, I would say, like, 585 to 201 direct. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. So we use that throughout a lot of our comms, and we include it, like, when we're talking to dispatch. So if we're, like, dispatch from 7, uh, 76, Mission North 195, I'm using the Hey You, It's Me approach because I'm letting dispatch know that I'm doing that, you know? So in this case, we're going to a 1014. Dispatch 27761014, left end of 3. So I just let them know I'm on my way. Do you know the 10 code for 1076? Uh, wait, the 10 code for 1076? What do you mean, yeah, ma'am? do you know what that means? Do you know what 1076 means? <coughs> uh, no, ma'am. Okay, wait, what That's happened? 20, latest 1014 is going to be code 4, 320 is going to be 76, so lock medical is 10. I guess she lost her head. Oh, he's got it. Copy that, 3 4 don't redirect the um, repair. We do have a man passing out there right now. Oh! On the way, ma'am. I think, based on how he just said that. Yeah, he has her. He's got him in the car. Yeah, hold him up. He's still conscious. 
Let's go to let's go to let's go to less than busy. Or I mean harmony. Okay. So what was I saying? We were talking about um ten. Oh yeah. Do you know what ten seventy six means? Um, on the way, ma'am. Yes, that's in route. That's correct. Ten eighty. Uh, when you're chasing a vehicle, ma'am. When you're in pursuit. Okay. All right. Um, ten seventy seven. Uh, I don't know that one. That's uh, an additional. So, like, you would request a 1077. It's one additional unit. So, like, 585 requesting a 1071. 1077. Oh, 1077. Um, mm -hmm. at Pillbox Medical Center. Mm-hmm. That's correct. 1071 is what? On the parking lot, parallel the courthouse. Um. I'm not sure, ma'am. Everything him, okay? Oh, those are gunshots. That's correct, gunshots. Hi, well, I guess let's go yeah. back and let's see patrol then. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah! Oh my god, it's so foggy! <gasps> it's like a horror Oh my movie. god. Wait, oh what just god. happened? Oh my, oh my god, I've never seen this before. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is so spooky. Ma'am, permission to pull out AR. What's this funny? Permission granted! Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh my god, I can't see anything. It's so. Where are we? Do we have any 52s available? Negative. Uh, I no, can't see fine. anything. Oh my god. Where are we? Oh Beta. my god, this is not the road. Oh my god. Uh, 350, what's your 20? Oh my god. It's done crash. Where are we? It's done crash. I can't see where we're going. Shut the fuck up, Benson. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, oh I think we're on a road, ma'am. Uh, maybe. So. That's a rock. Oh. That's another road. Ah, what did we just hit? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Rock. 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 I wait. I think we're on the highway. Oh yeah, you're right, ma'am. Okay, I think we're here. Well, let's turn on the lights. See if we can see anything more. <laughs> I think Bowling Brook is on our right. No, actually. Is it on the right? Um, jump, jump. That's oh god, that's no! I think we're in Sandy. I think I, I think it's the oh abandoned. God. Oh god! Oh, oh god! Oh god. We're, fine. we're fine. Just hold on tight, Knight. Okay, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Ah, ah, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's just hold on. Let's just sit tight. Okay, get your AR out. Ah uh, yes, ma'am. I, I, you know, Defensive I don't necessarily prove it, prove it, prove it. Shut the fuck up, Benson, all right? You don't know what it's like. Benson, give me a new shield, okay? Oh, God. You're welcome, aggressive. Papa Ian is sitting. Damn, I'm going to need you down at the parking lot opposite the courthouse to get a man being is... has been shot away. Ah. Ten four. Oh, God. Oh. Oh god! Oh! 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 Okay. Thought I was falling down a canyon. Ma'am! Ma'am! I'm lost! Nay, where are you? Over here! Nay, oh! Nay, oh my god! Hey! Are you okay? Oh my god! Sir! They don't stop! Don't run him over! Stop! Okay. I think it's good. I think he's good. I think we're clear. Oh, oh my god, I think we're on the highway. <laughs> Goop. Let's go get this thing fixed up. Sure we're going to be able to make it? Uh. You know what's really annoying, ma'am? If you accidentally start using oh your IFAC, god. but then you stop using it, it still breaks open. Okay. Yeah, that's why I don't I don't have IFACs. Uh, I don't have, like, I don't use them quickly, you know what I mean? I keep oh, them yeah. very deep within my pocket. Yeah, I was doing that, but then I found that having it, I just end up buying a lot. Like, I have nine right now. Oh That's where God, I spend all, you... well, because they don't weigh anything. So I figure I could just keep, like, a shit ton on me. So even if I fuck up, like, uh, you know, it won't matter that much. Yeah, but, but if you get down, then criminals will steal them from you because they'll take everything off you. Wait, can they use those? Yeah, they'll steal them from you. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> ah! Just don't crash. Oh, shut that's the fuck my up, that's Vincent. my motto. <laughs> shut Just up, don't Vincent. crash. 
Get out of the cart. Oh my Beta. god, it's Henry. There's you know, definitely there's definitely a lot of quality of life things requests I'm gonna put in. Uh, after having played him, I look at some of this stuff and I'm like, damn, that could be a Beta. little bit better. Oh my god, IFAC is like a pill. All right, let's go. You should be able to cancel let's just leave it. Let's in here. It doesn't need to come with us. So it consumes on. Oh on my god, on it's so use. fucking dark. You know what this reminds me of? This is like it's like trying to go home. In the middle of the night, and it's winter time, and you just want to like see your parents, use. and it's really Probably snowy. It's just like that. I had to play. Should have fenced in. Reddit? Oh my god. I think the fog is lifting. It's true. <gasps> that latest oh Reddit god. drama is so fucking Holy papega, shit, that dude. Was crazy. There's so much I could say about it. But I have to bite my tongue. Papa, eight twenty-three. All right, do you want to do a dispatch call for me? Yeah! He didn't say yeah, you said yeah, Fenton. Shut up. Three just today? Oh my god. <laughs> you know, it all. Ma'am, do you think this is rain or is it. Hail. This is rain. This is oh. rain. Yeah, it's rain. Hey, do you do a dispatch call for me? Ah, uh, wait. Sorry, say that again. Can you do a dispatch call for me? Uh, um, what, uh, what, what do you mean, ma'am? Well, I want you to let the dispatch know that we're back in service. Oh, yes, ma'am. Can you do that? Um, would it be? Oh, uh, ten eight, right? Uh, yes, that's 585 good. uh 108 at MRPD. I think That's good. Yeah, we don't need to put our location in on that, but you know, I mean, that's so good. Usually we just say that to let people know that we're back we're back doing things. Um, well, I have a chance. All's quiet. Let me teach you a little bit about the car. I didn't realize we were Hop out of service. Seat for me. Uh, what was that, ma'am? Hop into the driver's seat. Okay. I'm going to teach yep. you about how to use the lights and sirens and how to use the radar. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, I need hey. the keys, ma'am. Uh, no, you don't need the keys to do that. Oh, okay. All right. So, so just use the lights and sirens. If you look in the center console, there is a little control panel. There's a button that looks like a Q. If you press that, it's going to turn on the lights. Right. Now, there's a yeah. next. There's an Alt button. If you push on that, it's going to turn on the sirens. And to the right of that, there's a button that looks like an R. And if you push that, it's going to alternate between the type of sirens. Yeah, from, everything's fine. Oh, so okay. if you press that, it's going to alternate between the sirens. So go ahead and do that. Sorry about that. I just heard like a, a buttload of doors opening and closing. I was wondering what the hell was going yeah, on. Yeah, we're fine. We're good. Okay, okay, okay. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. So, so you have to press Alt on that to turn them on, right? And then you press R to swap the siren type. Does that make sense? Uh, wait, oh. Yeah, so there you go. See? Oh. Mm hmm. And what do the different ones mean, ma'am? So, the, these ones, the fast ones, these are for more, like, intense coast corridor things. Like, oh my god, get out of the way! Ah. It's more used for heavy traffic, um, for, like, in, in the city's limits. The long and drawn out siren is more for, like, uh, freeway chases and stuff like that, where it can be heard from a long distance. And then the medium one is for, uh, kind of, like, high speed in city stuff, you know? Oh, I see. And then this one, like, you know, get the fuck out of my way. We need yeah, to this go. Is like, this is like, burr, burr, get out of the way, burr. Yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. This is the one where you're like, you need to go, you know? Like, you need to shit really bad. And uh -huh. you can start, you're starting to feel like, you know, you're about to, you know, it's coming out and you got to go, right? That's the, the, the siren that you use for that one. Okay. Can yeah, that's how you use that one. Hi. Can I borrow you real quick? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to do it right here. What? Where yeah. You're not shouting, I can't hear you. Yell louder, your doors are closed. Up, so I'm going to teach him how Come to fuck, fuck up. up. Okay, yes, yeah, I'll meet you, Mr. No. Oh, wait, it is. Okay, uh, oh. I'm just going to do it here. Okay, all right. need two cars. Okay, okay ma'am. First of all, let's try to get out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What did he do? Stop walking in this fucking area when you're doing traffic stops. You well, I did. Yes, you did. Oh, because I don't give a fuck I was having an issue or not. with the thing, you know, trying to get the plate. <laughs> <to run. laughs> I don't he... care. 
Wait, when you're can't in, go do ne never ever, and I swear to God, never ever walk in that area right here. Because what happens if somebody comes around that corner, then the alleyway, and they hit our car, and yep. you can, you yes, the death, that's the kill zone. Yeah, exactly. Don't ever talk about that. People, no, that's Mantis, Jerry. Well, why are you not listening to it? I, I was having an issue with like getting also, the plate. Sorry, you're, you're standing up fuck. here, like right fucking fuck here, talking to oh people. God. Don't ever do that either. I was, oh, I'm I was teaching all, the, all about the pillars of life. Oh, the pillars. She she taught me the pillars. Oh, well, then fucking you... And you're disregarding that, too? What the heck? No, I'm not disregarding it. I'm a little rusty, okay? Try... I know the pillars. Like, when you bring them up, it's like, okay, yeah, I remember that. Okay, snap then you my, use your pillars. Snap my fingers, you know? I remember it, you know? That's the, pi the pillar you want to stand. If there's only two people in the front, you're going to stand in the... Stand basically... Oops. Where, there. uh... Oops. Not there either. No, no, that's not what I mean. Like right here. Behind uh, the door so they can't, you know. And if there's people in the back, you want to stand over here. Like this, right behind that uh -huh. pillar. And then if it's all four. If it's all, four. Is, wait, there's more. Oh, um, you what don't I mean? fucking know about C. Three, three, C's right here. Destiny. All C. the way back here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's in there. There's four Christ. people what in there. What is this travesty? Oh, my God. Fucking what? C? Angel. Angel. What? Horrible. He is horrible. horrible. He's terrible. Terrible. Awful. Get better, Terrain. Beta. Look, I'll even let Fender be on you. <laughs> Sorry, you a dumb fuck. <laughs> wow, he just said he hates your dog. Well, I mean, you know what? It's not my dog. It's a dog. It's a pretty simple question. This is Spencer. Yeah, he that's peed on me. I don't he give peed a on me. All right, so I just want to show you that. Never walk in between the, the death yeah. zone and use Well, I knew, who, I knew who it was. Hey, right, come on in. So... Uh, yes, ma'am. I want to teach you a bit about traffic stops. I think this is a good time to go over it while it's quiet too. Have you ever done a traffic stop before? Um, ah, uh, yes, ma'am. You have. Did you lead it or were you just watching? Uh, no, I. Um, no, I didn't lead it, ma'am. Okay. All right. Well, um, let me get a car out really quick. Yes, ma'am. Yo, I'm so glad we streamed today, chat. Angel, like, best FTO. Hey, right, come on in. She's so really good with teaching. So, let's over, okay? And this white line that you see going down, that's the, the sidewalk, right? So he's pulled up on the sidewalk. So when we're pulling a vehicle over, you just turn on your lights like this. And then you, you want to indicate using your sirens basically to get their attention, right? And to get them to pull over. Okay. Um, a common mistake some people do is they'll just turn on their sirens. And they'll just leave it on until the vehicles come to a stop, this like this. That's incorrect. You don't do it like that. Oh. Um, you only use your sirens to in, to get their attention to get them to pull over. You don't leave it on until they stop. You know what I mean? Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about like right. the beep with the horn? Yeah, that works too. I mean, honestly, I don't even usually use my siren when I'm pulling people over. I turn on the lights and I'll do this. You stupid dick bag! Pull, pull the fucking car over if I run you Final over! Gonna be stuff on an LG, and then, uh, you know, then they do it. Uh, oh, you I can see. Leave out, you you can leave out the insults. You don't need to put those in, but yeah. So, uh, the next thing that you want to do is you want to request that they shut the engine of the vehicle off because uh, you can see the engine of the Banshee is on. And the reason that we do that is because if we stepped out now and they reversed and they hit the car, um, it would knock me over, right? Because my door would be open and it would hit me. Oh, yeah, so, that makes sense. Yeah, so you want to yell like, hey, driver, shut the engine off. And then once they have the engine off, then you can step out of the vehicle and you can approach them. So you have a couple of ways you can approach a car like this. You can either walk up on the side like this on the driver's side. Um, and you can stand behind the driver's side like this. Or you can walk around the vehicle like this and approach from the passenger side. They're both valid. It's completely up to you and what you want to do. Now, there's also a really big place that we don't step in. You heard Charity just get yelled at for it. It's called the kill zone. So it's where we're standing right now. It's basically anywhere behind their vehicle or in front of our vehicle. Like this this entire area, this is no man's land. If you step in here, you can expect to get run over and killed. So we just don't go there. Because, you know, you don't want to get pinned up against the vehicle and have your bones squirt out of your legs like jelly, you know? Yeah, no, of course not, ma'am. Absolutely, that'd be terrible. Have you seen the movies, like where people get hit pinned up against the wall by a car and their, their organs come squirting out like toothpaste? Yeah, absolutely. Especially yeah, with all the scumbag that. criminals oh, yeah. in the city, they oh, may yeah. try to, to do just that. Oh yeah, they're well, gonna try to turn you into a toothpaste knight, and you're not toothpaste, are you? Ma'am, no, not at all, ma'am. 
Copyright Would it be appropriate to take out my AR ah! when I do a traffic stop? Probably not. I okay. would not recommend that. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at the pillars of the vehicle. I'm going to get a four-door vehicle for this. Left. <laughs> All right. This is a good one. I, I, I feel like we need a um, Medi AR emote. Vehicle's gonna be stopping again. Stop. Right. I don't know. And a Medi Brian so, email. Right. Get rid of Garfield. Pulls over. All right, you can clearly see inside the vehicle that uh, all the different seats. You can see who could potentially be in the vehicle. Yeah, it's a safety blanket, exactly. So there's three That's pillars to the it. vehicle. There's the A, B, and C pillar. This is the A pillar. This part that connects from the hood to the top. The B pillar will be this part that divides the passenger and the driver's seats. And then this C, C pillar will be this one right here. You want to stand behind the pillar that is occupied, if that makes sense. So if there was four people inside this vehicle, you would want to stand right here. Does that I'm make sorry, sense? Are, uh, sorry, ma'am. Are you standing by the... What? Behind the C-pillar. Oh, behind so the... Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm standing okay. behind the passenger uh, or the back seats because I don't want them to just pull out a gun and blow me away. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that makes sense. Directed, they can just pull out a gun and just shoot me in the face because some officers will just stand right here or they'll stand right here and just talk to the driver like this. This is a good way to get shot because you're fully facing towards them. They can just pull out a gun and, and blow you away. But if you stand right here when you're talking to the driver, um, it's a lot harder to hit you. And if the vehicle is fully occupied, you stand back here because it's safer. Does that make sense? Uh, it does, ma'am. How would cool. you, how would you, um, since it's a traffic stop and you, you need to get their license, mm -hmm. how do you approach actually retrieving it if you're all the way back here? Mm -hmm. So you can step forward from that position to grab documentation and then step back once you're done. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do a little demo of how to approach someone on traffic stop. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to identify yourself as a police officer. So let's say this person ran a red light. I would say the following. Hi there, ma'am. My name is Sergeant Angel with the Los Santos Police Department. Reason for the stop today is because you ran a red light heading southbound on Elgin Avenue. Can I get your license and registration for the vehicle, please? So what I did there is identified myself. I asked for license and registration so that they can identify themselves to me and I can ask the same who owns this vehicle. Um, and then I let them know the reason for the stop so that they're not confused as to why they've been pulled over. Oh yeah, that's but, right. I, I, I think I read that <coughs> if um, you don't provide them the reason for the detainment. Oh wait, is that only for the arrest? That I, um, I, I think I read it. Cool. The reason you need to let them know why they're being detained, otherwise, yeah. um, we could get in trouble. Yeah, that SOP more so is for people like when you're cuffing them up. It's like, let's say you respond to a scene and there's like a bunch of people and you're putting them all in cuffs to control the scene. It's more so that we just let them know, hey, I'm detaining you just for my safety so I can understand what's going on here. Oh, it's I just see. To prevent, it's just to prevent cops from walking up to people and just doing this. Just cuff them up and be like, I'll be right back with you, sir. Suck a dick. Oh, yeah. Right, that makes you, sense. Oh, God. You're, you're fine. You're fine. I'll take this off. You're fine. You're just demonstration. Take a deep breath. It's okay. All right. Cool. So traffic stops are, are honestly really free form. Like, there's not too much outside of staying out of danger that you can do. Um, uh -huh. You know, ascertain what's going on. You talk to the people inside the vehicle. That's a good point. Let's talk about, let's talk about radar. Come over here. Send it. Wow, uh, we're picking up a lot. All right, go ahead and hop I intentionally the don't take notes. Did you get keys? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. So what I want you to do, um, if you look over on the control panel, uh, there's going to be another button that looks like an M. Push that. Uh, yes, ma'am. You're going to see a little control panel pop up. You see that? It's like toggle radar and all that stuff. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. So toggle radar is going to turn on your radar. It's going to be uh, in the bottom right corner of that control panel. There's going to be quite a few different options you can see when you're looking at it. You're going to see a front and rear uh, area, and each is going to have their own three set of buttons, which would be a OPP, which stands for opposite, same, and X. OPP, you, know you know me. I see, ma'am. Okay. So the top row of those buttons correlates to your front radar, and the bottom row correlates to your back radar. Um, the OPP button no, is going to set it so that your radar will read at a 45 that. degree angle. So if you set the front one to opposite, it would read at about this angle right here. So where I'm standing, uh, it would go out in a straight it's line from here. Does that make sense? Oh, I see. So it's not a cone, ma'am. It's it's so actually I, I like a line. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so I, is this opposite lane, same lane? 
Yeah, so basically that's kind of what it's indicating. So if you did same, it would read right in front of the vehicle, so directly in front of it, like a line that just goes straight out. Does that make sense? Uh, it does, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Cool, and then the same goes for the rear. Um, the rear one will be right here. It'll go in this direction. Okay. So um, there's also going to be another button, a little tilde. You can see that in the top right there. That tilde is going to reset your lock fast. Um, which, how do I explain this? So if, oh. you look, if you look on the actual radar, you see how there's some numbers? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, let me pull out my car so I can accurately explain this to you. And then uh, I'll have you angle the car and I can demonstrate this a little bit better. So the forward fast, you see that one? That one is going to show you the most recent vehicle that passed in front of your radar, what speed they were traveling. Does that make sense? Um, okay. So you see, uh, if you look, um, I'm, I'm specifically pointing out towards the actual radar module on the bottom right there. Uh, the forward fast is, is the radar lock in front of you, how fast they were traveling. Uh, the backwards fast is going to be the one behind you. That just indicates the, the speeds that they were locked at. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I, uh, if I did this. Did you see how it changed speed there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, now it's locked. Mm -hmm. So, and it has the plates. Yep. So if you press the up arrow or the down arrow on your MDT, that will run the, the forward plate or the rear plate. Oh. Mm-hmm. Now, you can also see the license plate. Uh, the one on the top will be for the Dang! front plate and the one on the bottom will be for the rear plate. Now, okay. sometimes plates can be flagged. So um, I'm going to flag this plate unlocked. in front of us and I'm going to have you angle and run it, okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to turn on the car and angle it so that you can read the license plate in front of you of this Galavanter and then tell me what happens, okay? Um. Uh-oh. There you go. You should have keys to it. I think it was, uh, must have broke or something. It's okay. Oh, is the car broken? I right, go and angle it so that you can read the plate of that vehicle. That one over there. Oh, that one over there. Yes. Did you hear like a loud beeping? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Hit tilde for me. Okay. Okay. Now tell me, do you, are you locked on the license plate 26XUS738? I am, ma'am. Okay. Oh, it only reset see... one of them, it mm -hmm. looks like. Okay. Do you see um do you see a little F next to the, the flag or the license plate? Uh no. Let me try it again. Um wait. So I, I see the license plate on the front mm -hmm. radar, and yes. then if I hit up, the mm -hmm. appropriate license plate comes up. But mm -hmm. I don't hear a beep and I don't see an F. Interesting. It might be the flagging feature is not functioning at the moment. Um, let me try it. Let's see what I get. Yeah, it I looks like it's, it's broken. That's fine. So I'll explain how the, it's supposed to work. Um, it'll probably get fixed soon. Um, the way it's supposed to work is when we flag a plate, uh, we'll get like dispatch calls about plates coming to us, right? Uh -huh. and we can we can do a little command in our NDT called flag plate, and that will let us flag a plate for future review. So if that vehicle passes in front of us, the license plate locker will lock onto it and it'll go make a loud beeping noise and let us know. Oh, right? I see. And Even when you run whether plate, or not I run. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it'll tell you why the plate's flagged and you can get some more information. It's not working right now, I guess, but typically it is supposed to work. Um, to ask that again, would it start mm -hmm. beeping regardless? As long as soon as it gets in front of the radar, would it beep? Um, only if the plate's lock audible. So that brings me on to the next uh, topic. When you have a... So you can set your speed limit that your, your plates get locked at, right? So if you press M and you go to set speed limit, uh -huh. you can you can change that. So let's say you set your limit to 52. Any vehicle that's going under 52 miles an hour will not be held, right? 
But once a vehicle goes in front of you going 52 miles an hour or greater, the license plate will be locked onto you and nothing will override it unless a vehicle goes by even faster than that or you reset the lock fast. Oh, yeah. Yep. So uh, if there are conditions where, for example, you have a license plate locked going, let's say, 100 miles an hour, if a flag plate travels in front of you, your vehicle won't pick up on it because you have the other one locked until you oh. reset it and then it will pick up on it. Does that make I sense? I see. Yeah, absolutely. So basically, whenever you want to run someone's plates, I recommend you hit the tilt button and then angle your car at them. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. Is there, awesome. do you need this radar module thing? Um, the the little M module uh, in order to swap your radar or is there like a faster way to go from same lane, opposite lane? Yeah, you need to do that to swap it. So I recommend you just set it up and, and then just get used to a specific configuration. Okay. The, the only hotkey that we really have for the radar inside a vehicle is if you push the left arrow button, that will turn it on and off. That's about it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's basically it for the radar and how it works. Also, if you hit control tilde, it'll lock everything and nothing will change until you hit control L again. Does that make sense? Um... You want to give that a shot what would you be locking ma'am the current place that you have so let's say that you want to write down a plate that just passed in front of you um oh and you don't and so and that want, another get overridden mm -hmm. got you so like another vehicle doesn't come and go even yes. faster and then override it that is correct so then okay. you would hit control tilde so you can lock it in place dang okay all right cool any questions about that uh no ma'am awesome so, um, that's basically all I have to say about the radar. So I'm glad that we got that out of the way. Are there any hot okay. keys you know? I don't think so. No, okay, we're good. Awesome. So one thing I want to do, when you're on a traffic stop, I recommend you run the license plate before you pull them over. Um, this is up to you. Um, completely recommended. Uh, I basically always recommend you ask for one additional whenever you do a traffic stop. City is dangerous and you're going to be pulling over a lot of dangerous people all the time. So one thing I don't want you to say on the radio when you do pull people over is no additionals required. I want you to say requesting an additional, requesting 177 or something like that, you know? 77 being the additional, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, that should be about it for that. There's obviously a lot of like minutia to a traffic stop, but I want to kind of show that to you on the job rather than just sitting here in a parking lot explaining it to you. Okay. So let's impound these. Let's go and pull some scumbags over. All right. Dang. Hacha. Yo, that was. Where's Fenton? That was a hell of an know. explanation. I think he did. He did. There he is. Oh, yeah. Did, that, did I just information overload you? You're still good there? Oh, no. That was really good, ma'am. I, 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 I think I can probably retain most of that. I think all of it, actually. Hi, Willa. Hi, Angel. Wiener. B -b best friend. Hey, How best friend. You? Wiener friend. What's that? Nothing much. Just weaning around. Every time I like, close my legs yeah. and pull, pull them um, apart, it's like, are you? it's like goddamn glue. Um, That's not me saying that. That's... Are you yeah, I heard your. Fenton, I didn't say that. That was Fenton that said that. I mean, that's okay. I mean, we all get sticky sometimes. You ever eat a popsicle and it like gets everywhere? I. Okay, that's not what the context of. Oh, jeez. What? I don't know what you're okay. talking about. Okay. Have okay. fun. Be safe. Okay. Here all right. Go. Okay. Bye. Okay. Hi. Dispatch two hundred two. Uh, yeah. I didn't. Uh, one, one, that's sixty eight code four ten eight. That's the bonus. That's fake news. Okay.